The high-end desktop market has been ablaze with Intel for nearly a decade now, and AMD has made a blistering return. Well, it sounds like they don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. I'm really excited to bring all of you this news, so let's just get right into it. First up, it's clear AMD has been working around the clock on their new Zen architecture as it appears they really aren't done with the high-end PC market yet. I know I've discussed this before, but I didn't give it all that much credence even though we'd heard a good bit of rumors, but whoo, it's getting harder and harder to ignore. So we know about AMD's 32-core Naples Enterprise processors already unveiled by the company, but we thought that would be the very next level processor from the more mainstream and enthusiast Ryzen 7s. Then rumors began servicing of a 16-core Ryzen processor running at an astonishing 3.1 GHz base clock speed with a 3.6 GHz boost. The issue with the report at the time fell on it running off a whole new platform, which wouldn't make much business sense to do for a single chip. Just too much cost involved for one CPU. Well, Tech Power Up has provided us with two new reports of the last two days on Ryzen's rumored CPU, or should I now say CPUs. The first report seems to originally come from video cards. Well, they at least provided some interpretation Tech Power Up used. Either way, apparently there's now a 12 core engineering sample floating around. That's awesome, as it actually gives even more credence to that rumored 16 core, as well as uh, there's a 12 core beast as well. But here's a really interesting part. The second report by Tech Power Up comes from an exclusive given to the Turkish tech publication Donanum Haber. Donanum Haber? I, I probably said that wrong. I do apologize. But it shows these bad boys are essentially a multi chip module from two Ryzen Summit Ridge dies. That actually makes sense as to the super impressive 3.1 GHz base clock to the rumored 16 core, as these are essentially the same dies just doubled up. Reportedly, the 12 core module is simply the same, but with one core turned off on each CCX. Doing it this way gives the chips 4 channel DDR4 capability as well as 58 PCI Express Gen 3.0 lanes. Though Tech Power Up noted only one of the two dies will put out PCI Express 3.0 times 4 A link. With this said, the TDP has also dramatically increased to 140 watts on the 12 core model and 180 on the 16 core. But really, all in all, this could completely flip the very high-end desktop market on its head. To put this into perspective, let's look at Intel's chips. The two closest to the 12 core are the Xeon E5 2697 and the X99 Platform 6950X. The Xeon is nearly $2400 and the 6950X is roughly $1600 in the US. Now, both have hyper-threading, with the 6950X using 10 cores running at a 3 GHz base. The Xeon is a 12-core CPU that runs at a 2.7 GHz base. So, this part is pure speculation, but if we took the 16-core being two 8-core Ryzen 7s and add in a little cost for linking the two dies, etc., let's say a conservative estimate would be maybe $1,200. Yeah, this is versus well over $2,000 for less performance in nearly all aspects, but possibly the memory latency on the CCX modules, though the difference in clock could even negate that. But of course, let's not get too excited just yet. It isn't completely substantiated, but it certainly seems to be accurate, as this is only a couple of quite a few rumors linking this to be a real thing. And with it being multiple chips on one die, we'd have to see how that affects performance with latency and things like that, but wow. Okay, so obviously I know this is more of a gaming and gaming hardware channel, but I knew many of you would really want to hear this. But gamers, please know these chips would not be worth the money in any way for you. There is an argument for 6 or 8 core chips, but almost certainly, at least no time soon, and, and I don't know when, not 12 or 16 cores. Just make sure that you know that. These are definitely getting more into server workloads and very, very intense professional work. But with that disclaimer, if you thought AMD wasn't bringing all it had to the table, definitely rethink that position. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.